100 days for a thief, one day for the owner. You see all these people that think that they are the Alpha and Omega of KBAC's life. They can see right now that it's not by who is standing first, but by who is going to stand and last long. You understand? My people, my people, it's not truth bed, Mama Fly. You. A person that sells egg should not start a fight in the market with someone that sells firewood. You know the end result already. Who will lose and who will gain? So right now, hmm, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you people are watching me from. I appreciate you guys. You guys are the best. You guys are the MVP. So right now, they say Temi Tokpa is not very angry at the moment for the fact that yesterday on um, Adiola, um, Adiola, uh, the prince uh, Elizabeth, Dr. Elizabeth and Elizabeth disgraced her. She was not really happy yesterday. So she went and confronted KBAC. I was telling KBAC, I don't understand the structure you gave them. Why will you tell them not to give me the family material? Am I not part of the family? If that material was meant for the family, my name is supposed to be inside. It's not the matter of my name. They are supposed to bring my own to me because I'm an olori. I am a queen. I was married to you. I was not borrowed. I did not come from the window. Onina said, you know some wives are ant-infested maggots. Some wives are ant-infested firewood. Some ants, some wives are, are firewood with ants that when they bring to the house, they will put the ants all over the house. Temitokwe now asked KBAC, what do you mean? What do you mean? They said Temitokwe was very angry. And he told KBAC, all these things going on in the palace, I never believe you turn your back at me. I never believe you give such an instruction. And KBAC now told Temitokwe that he did not give any instruction. That he only told, uh, Olori, he only told um, Lizzie um, Jack Rich, he only told her to come and do the needful to save his head and to save his palace. So that is what he says. So any other thing that... She is saying that he did not understand where that talk is coming from. But the Mitokpel made KBAC to understand that nobody can drive me out of this palace. They are jealous of me because I love Christ. The same way they are jealous, the, the same way they were jealous of Queen Naomi. That is the same way they were bringing the jealousy to me. I already knew it, that immediately I embraced Christ, temptation will come. Uh, crucifixion will come. So they are crucifying me because I decided to embrace Christianity, because I left tradition for them, because I left the ways of the devil for them. I told them, it's only God I am going to serve. Hey! At this point, Oni was confused. Oni was asking himself, what is bringing about all this wahala like this? Waiting they bring this wahala. Temi Tokman was angry, she was lamenting, she was crying. And Kabi Esina said that some of you women marry me for my money and fame. So get the money, get the fame, and leave me to have peace. You understand? Get your money, get your fame. Oh. Temi Tokwe was crying that she does not understand what she did to deserve all this hate from the people in the palace. So Temi Tokwe now ended up telling Kabi Esina that even that Dr. Elizabeth, the yellow purple wife that only of Ife is trusting, that he pity only of Ife. That Elizabeth just brought a strategy, strategy to keep quiet. That when Elizabeth will strike, that time only of Ife will know that yellow pepper is peppery more than red pepper. But right now, Elizabeth feels she is at the top. That every lies they are telling only that is Elizabeth. And only of Ife now made it categorically clear to um, Temi Tokpe that, oh, you are calling Elizabeth's name so that we say if, if it's Elizabeth or no. But I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to tell you if it's Elizabeth or not, or if it is someone else. I am the god of the land. So actually, at the end of the day, I know what I'm talking about. And that is some period. So when Nina made this statement, Elizabeth was not feeling that there's a gang up against her. So she's actually saying that there's a gang up against her. This is not who she is. That everybody that is ganging up against her, they are going to collect with with to. But that she never believed that only of Ife will feel that. She married him because of money or fame. That she had the fame before she met him. She had money before she met him. At, at, uh, when she was working with the former governor of, of Lagos State, when she was working with the former governor of Lagos State, and she also worked with the former governor of uh, Oshu State, that was where KBAC met her. KBAC met her in money. KBAC met her in, mo in money. KBAC met her with fame. KBAC met her, she has connections, she knows all the big, big people, you understand? So right now, coming to say that she married KBAC for fame, that she is perplexed, that she cannot understand, like, like make it make sense. Make it make sense. So Temitope was reminding KBAC that it was KBAC that was begging her to come and marry him. 
that you know how many friends she lost marrying Kabezi. That all her best friends, her friends that they went to Harvard together, the one they lived in, because she has lived in UK before, her best friend that they lived in UK, that up to today her best friend is not talking to her because her best friend was shocked that she accepted to be a fifth wife, a be a sixth wife, you understand? So Mr. Kman uh, only now told her that, okay, if your best friend is shocked, the best thing for you to do is to pack your load and go. Because your best friends are actually right. Why won't you follow your best friend? Like, Temitokwe was shocked. She started, started crying that, look at Kabi and say, I sacrifice everything for you. I sacrifice my happiness. I sacrifice my joy. I sacrifice friendship that I've known for almost 30 years. Yeah, that's what Temitokwe said. She said most of her friends were from primary school. Friendship she has known for 30 years. She sacrificed it on the altar of marriage. And guess what? She said some of these are friends told that you see this marriage you are carrying on top of your head. You see this marriage you are running to, you will regret. Stay your peace. Stay your single woman. Stay where you are. A single man will come and marry you. Marrying into a royalty. The only thing you will get is the fame outside. But inside it will be hot. They say he who wears the shoe know where it pinches. So right now, Temitokwe says she is on a regret mission. Like, if she have known, she would have listened to her friends, she would have listened to her family member. But look at Anna. They are ridiculing her. They are ridiculing her, my brothers, my sisters. It's not a small matter. <laughs> when I heard this particular one, I say, ah, now wow. So what brought about all this in Temitokwe own? Because Temitokwe wasn't even part of the suspects in the palace. Temitokwe even wasn't part of the people in the palace, you don't understand. But she has assured KBC that she will be okay. If they said that she, she does not go to where they are not invited. If they said she should not come to that wedding, to that marriage, that she will not come. If they say she should not come to that marriage, she will not come. But she just wants KBC to know that she has a clean heart. And it's a clean heart that is going to take care of where she is. It's because she's quiet, she does not put hand in their evil things, does not do their evil things, that everything KBC is hearing about her is a plot from the pit of hell. They are trying to remove her from the equation, and that is why they are doing all these things. But she bet KBC that no matter what they do, that she's not going to leave this marriage like Naomi, because they've told her how they use her, the seer came and said they used just to drive Naomi. Hmm. Malodo, malodo. Ooh, ooh. That she's not going to live with the way they drove Naomi. She's not living for anybody. That you see this marriage. This is a marriage that she married Kabi and Sisu. That is for better, for worse. To death do them part. So anything they do, anywhere they drag her to, she's not leaving this marriage. And nobody, as in nobody, will come out to live. That she does not attend the wedding doesn't even mean anything. After all, she did not attend Olori Elizabeth's wedding. Did the head come down? No. Uh, Olori Ashley did not attend. Did, did her head come down? No. Is she not still an Olori? She's still an Olori Abi. Anyway, Tomitokwe felt so bad. And at a point, they say KBC was, was feeling so bad too because KBC have never seen her in that mood. KBC have never seen her cry. KBC have never seen her like that. And um, KBC told that they should they will talk later because right now he has to do some other things. Okay, people, that is all the gist right now. See you guys later. Do where to subscribe, like, comment. Peace out.